First up, it's Chad Leclerc. Hi, I'm Chad Leclerc, Tournament Meter Butterfly World Short Course Champion. When I started off, I was eight years old. Um, I came from Penzance Primary School, which was my first um, swimming lessons, which I started off as. And uh, a lady by the name of Miss Manthe actually directed me off to, to Graham Hill, to uh, you know, a proper swimming coach. And uh, you know, I thank her today because she, she saved my swimming career because you know, he's the best coach in South Africa, the best coach in the world, for that matter of fact. You know, I've grown up, Graham has actually been like my second father to me. I've, I've known him for 11 years of my life. At the moment, the training regime is uh, hectic. Nothing, nothing like I've ever experienced before because it's Olympic year, obviously. Um, a typical day or week's training is every morning and, and nearly every afternoon we get Wednesday afternoon off. Um, basically, waking up at quarter past five and getting in the pool six sharp. So in Graham, it's six sharp. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, training from six until nine in the pool. And then afterwards, uh, three times a week, I head over to the Virgin in Westville and just an hour, hour and a half of gym and core work. Um, come home for a, a lovely pasta with, with my dad and uh, have a little sleep for an hour and a half and then head back to training at 2.30. So from about three until about 5.30, we training and then you know, by the time you get home, you know how we're feeling. So not much time for anything else, maybe a quick game of FIFA with a few friends and uh, if it's Wednesday night, we have the afternoon off, so maybe uh, take a drive down to Florida and see what's happening. In 2009, you could say was a, a bit of a breakthrough for me in my, in my personal swimming career. Um, I was actually on my birthday, on the 12th of April in 2009. I qualified for the Rome World Champs, which is which is like the senior Springbok team. So for me to make that was a, was a huge thing, and of course the, the World Champs in, in Rome that year. Um, in 2010, uh, the Commonwealth Games was a huge standout, uh, the Youth Olympic Games, and uh, of course the, the World Champs, where I became the, the youngest world champion at 18. Um, also, 2011 was uh, a massive year, um, traveling around the circuit, the World Cup circuits, and eventually, you know, being crowned the, the overall World Cup Series winner. And uh, in doing so, I also picked up 23 gold medals and eight silvers and two bronze. I think that's something that I'll definitely keep down in the books. So, uh, you know, just hopefully I can continue this uh, momentum heading into well, 2012 this year and obviously the Olympics. So, you know, we're just working hard and looking forward to hopefully another good year. It was actually, it came quite uh, a shock to us because it was in the 2010, during April, where she got diagnosed that she had breast cancer, my mom. And uh, they actually, um, it was during my Commonwealth Games trials. And, uh, you know, Co Commonwealth Games was a, a big breakthrough for me. So, you know, they actually didn't end up telling me that she had cancer until after. And I was actually upset with them. Y you don't think it's going to happen to you until it, until it actually happens. And, you know, it's... You know, it hit us quite hard, obviously, because we're very close and just obviously thankful she came through and she's getting a lot better and she's healthy now, so yeah, she's great and just to have her back. For people that don't know swimming too well, um, at Olympics it's, it's heats in the morning, semi-finals and a final. You know, people may think that you, you know, you only swim four races, but uh, you know, you're actually swimming, you know, close to 12 races of 100%. You know, there's no, at Olympics, there's no, uh, you know, you can cruise in the morning and, and, you know, you're going to make it back in the evening. Now it's just a hard graft and, and, you know, obviously there's times when you wake up in the morning and you think, well, geez, am I really going to go another 10 k's this morning? But I mean, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's the Olympic, I mean, it's the Olympic dream that, that drives me in the morning and, and drives me through the sessions. And uh, obviously it's, <laughs> I'm very excited. I mean, it's, it's something that any, any athlete, any uh, Olympic athlete dreams about, is going to Olympics and 
you know, it's, it's a couple of months out and, and uh, yeah, I, I really can't wait. I really, really can't wait.